after successfully running the project now let's check the database here okay so basically this is the spring boot db database i am going to refresh it not create schema sorry uh, don't save yeah i am going to refresh it refresh all so yeah you find one table here called student details and we have the schema for it that is id name class name and student name okay so yeah that's it now what i am doing i am creating some apis uh, which is like get post put and delete so for that purpose i am going to create uh, one controller okay so yeah let's create the controller first okay i am going to creating the stu student controller okay so uh, what kind of api i am creating now so first is save save student in database save student in database okay after that uh, uh, save uh, find all student find list of student list of student after that uh, find student by by id by id uh, it's a typo okay it's, there is no auto correct i guess okay okay find student by id uh, after that update the student okay after that uh, we need delete student so we are going to write this five this five apis and which all are connected with database and perform all crud operation okay so for that purpose i am going to run what controller so using same annotation called rest controller okay so yeah for saving student i need a post request so uh, i just uh, write request mapping here sorry request mapping annotation so it's going to be a root of this controller okay so i am writing the the save method okay so let's write it uh, before writing uh, this method i am going to move it into the another package called controller okay so that's my bad i'm moving it into the another package uh, i need one repository so I, I could play with database i already told you so so for that purpose i need a one interface and uh, this is a repository i am creating the one package called repo and this is student repository this is student repository so this is nothing but the interface which is going to extends jpa repository so what we are going to provide here first parameter is going to be a class name so basically we have student class student class and we have primary key of student class is long so we are going to place it as a long so that's how you are going to create a single repository called student repository and yes this is our repository which is created yeah so how we are going to access this repository we have annotation called auto add okay and i am going to create the reference of it private student repository it is student repository okay so i have the reference of student repository so now i am creating the method okay 
uh, to save the student inside database so what I am doing I want a method which store student we store the student get from the API and after saving that student we need to return it back to the that same API okay so we are doing that task in this API okay so what I do I created one method which is going to return student okay and which perform task save so that's why I give name of that method is save okay so student repository have one method called save okay so I'm going to use same method called save and pass the pass the student pass the student which is parameter of that same method okay so I am passing that same student which is parameter of that same method so what this method going to return you it is going to return you the student which is save inside database okay which is pre, which is save inside database that same exact same student which is going by this method so simple you are going to return the student which is save okay so there is some code is missing we need to we need to write api for it so that for that purpose i am using a post mapping Okay, and this is the create method and uh, if you don't forget we are going to use the annotation called request body yeah, that's it that's it that's only two or three line code you can create your student inside database so calling this API is a different story okay so let's save it and run it once again see what happened yeah because I give it a properties file as a create uh, as a create each and every time it's going to delete previous table and create the new one that's why it's showing each and every time same query so I'm going to change it to update save it okay for now it's okay now I am using a postman to call the same API so what is the API basically so this is our controller the API is localhost localhost 8080 double slash student and after that the create so we need to call this api if we want to create a student okay so i'm just going to copy this api and putting it into the postman localhost create and it is the post method i'm taking it as a post method and i need to pass the body I am using a raw and the format is the JSON format. So I am going to create the class here. Okay, so this is my class. I am using this class. So I need to create an attribute for it. So I am not passing attribute because uh, ID as an attribute because it is ID and it is automatically generated. I am going to only pass three attribute name, address, and class name. So what is name? I'm using name as a, sorry I'm using name as a Pratik after that I am using the address uh, the spelling is a double d r e double s okay uh, the address is uh, Pune after that the class name is me okay so i'm using class name 
this attribute and passing gen okay so it is master self and gen id okay that's it and i am hitting the same api and i am opening the console here okay let's see what happen yeah so whenever we are hitting uh, hitting the same api it's going to insert it it's going to fire the insert into query and uh, it's going to store the value we are pass within the api so these are the value we are pass but uh, look at there we are not passing the id uh, with the same api so id is automatically generated now we are going to check the database is there any data is present or not and yeah there is some data okay so i am going to store another information i am going to shubham with, who is live in nagpur and education is b okay so i am again sending it and let's check now we have another student yeah i am going to write uh, three student so another one is uh, gaurav gaurav and who is live in nagpur uh, not in nagpur he who is live in pune and education is uh, poly or just make it bsc okay so i am sending it again and again we are saving the same student inside database okay so why i store this three student basically uh, we are going to find the list of student in next api okay so for that purpose i am going to writing the api for find all find uh, find all student 